Hello, this is uh, just going to be a quick little video of uh, my like top three expected games of 2013, as well as the three games I think are just not going to do great. So, I guess we'll start with the uh, negative first. Uh, we'll uh, go, you know, horrible, then good. You know. Anyways, so the three games I feel are going to do the worst this year, or at least I have no hopes whatsoever, and I don't think I'm going to even care to try them because of it, is uh, the first one, The Walking Dead uh, Survival Instinct. Now this is like um, a first person shooter game that's, uh, I, I honestly don't know, I don't know a lot about this game. It's, it's unlike the w w other Walking Dead game, this one's based on the, uh, the, uh, the show instead of the, bo the comic books, which again I don't care for, but I saw some gameplay of this and it looks downright atrocious. And I know I shouldn't care. I should be like, oh man, let's hope this is good. But I was just like, that's, that's great. I'm good. I'm so happy this this game looks shit. Um, I don't know. I just don't give a fuck. Uh, number two is uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, Revengeance. I, I don't think this game looks bad. It doesn't seem like a horrible game, and I think. I might actually try it, but I think if it was a not title a Metal Gear Solid game, I'd be fine with it. But it's not a Metal Gear Solid game to me. It's Raiden, and he's not even sneaking around. He's slicing stuff up, and I just don't care. For... Again, if this game was just called something else, I think I'd care a lot more about it, but just the fact that it's trying to be Metal Gear Solid, but it's not in any way, shape, or form, or it's taking the title, not trying to be better than something. Uh, the first, and then the most one that I think is uh, going to suck is Dead Space 3. Now, the demo got released. I didn't play the demo. I saw many, many gameplay. The first one was scary. I enjoyed the first one because it was scary. I played the first one alongside my friends on a Halloween a couple years ago, and it was so good. We even made, we even made an inside joke because of it. There's this part where you just hear, like, like as if, like, wrenches or, like, steel items were being knocked down and they cling on the metal grates that you're walking on. So we made a joke that there's necromorphs that are hanging in the rafters that just drop wrenches just to make spooky noises. And we call them wrench necromorphs. So whenever you're playing a game and you hear, like, a spooky noise, you're like, oh, it's just a wrench necromorph. Uh, but, and then the second one was not scary. It was. It had some moments where it was un disturbing. I can't say it was ever scary, but it was. It was an enjoyable experience. This game looks like Gears of War mixed with Call of Duty mixed with Dead Space. I mean, there's just plain zombies in this. Um, there's weapons like. I don't know if people understood this, but there weren't weapons in the first games. Or at least, not that I, maybe I wasn't paying attention. There were supposed to be, like, construction items, engineering items. Like, you had, you had a plasma cutter, a cutter, something you an engineer would have. And there's, like, a bolt launch for nails and whatnot. That was your assault rifle. But now you have an assault rifle, and it's like, and then there's co-op. Co-op, I'm not too upset about, but... Just, just the, just the whole premise of this just doesn't sound very good, and I don't get, I, I, I don't think I'll play this. I, at least I hope not. I'm looking at you, future me. You better not be playing this. I'm gonna be upset at you. So now that we got the negatives out of the way, my, the three games I feel will have the best outcomes, and I'm, or at least I'm hoping they'll be good because I'm probably gonna get them. Uh, Pokemon X and Y. This. I played the first the first generation, I played the second generation, then I stopped, and then towards the end of the third generation I joined again, so I don't have much of a connection to the third generation, and then the fourth generation was kind of, eh, it's okay, and then the fifth generation, I, I felt the same way, I was like, eh, it's okay, but this generation, I don't know, I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm kind of optimistic about it, I'm looking at it, I'm seeing the new starters, which I like, um, I've seen the starters, I'm, I'm liking them. And I saw the new uh, legendaries, and I love the uh, the Y one, the one that's like the weird red dragon thing. That thing's really cool. I like that one. And I don't know. I'm I'm really optimistic about this. I mean, I'm gonna buy a 3DS for it, so why not, right? Uh, the second one, Bioshock Infinite. 
The first Bioshock, really creepy, had a really nice atmosphere, and then, you know, the whole story. It was a great game. Second one, a lot of people didn't care for it, at least in comparison. I enjoyed it, and the storyline I don't feel was that bad. I didn't care for some things, but I didn't feel it was that bad. And I really like how they're going somewhere else now. I think, you know, they, they've seen everything Rapture has to offer. Especially since in the first game, you leave. The main character leaves. And in the second game, he leaves. So, I don't know, there's just, there's just only so much that can happen to Rapture. I think maybe, like, maybe in, like, a couple Bioshocks, let's hope there's not, but in a couple Bioshocks, they can touch on what happened to Rapture, see what happened, you know? But I'm really liking how this is going. I, I like this, especially since I have a great fear of heights. Even in video games, I'm very scared of heights. And I feel this will be scary for me. Uh, and then lastly, I don't know if I could, I'm going to add this because I don't own it, even though it is, it has been released, and I'm here, I've already read a couple of reviews, and I, they're not really, they're okay reviews, but, and look, bear with me as I pronounce this, Nemo Kunai Wrath of the White Witch, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I don't care, uh, I don't know, I just love, I mean, it's me as you know, it's, it's, a, it looks great, it looks fantastic. I hear the, the actual gameplay is very old-school RPG-like, in which you have to grind to progress the next area, and I feel I'm okay with that. Um, and I just love the quirky, cutesy look of it all. I mean, sometimes I want some serious stuff, but then there's other times where I'm like, oh, I just love how adorable it is. I just want to squish it. Um, so I'm looking forward to those games, and then I, uh, those other three games, let's pretend they don't exist. Uh, anyways, bye-bye.